Hello students, myself Osama Ali, Faculty of Engineering Physics. Today I will teach about optics. Optics, optics, optics is a branch of science which deals with the study of determination, property and behavior of light. The, sub, the topic which taught us the determination and behavior and property of light is called optics. In optics we will study about reflection. What is reflection? Uh, reflection statement says that the property of light by virtue of which a light ray traveling from one medium to another medium is sent back to the same medium. What is this statement says that when a light ray traveling from one medium, so let's say it is our medium one, medium one and this is our medium two. When light ray travels from one medium to another from the point of incident, that is here mirror is our reflecting surface. Reflecting surface means where light ray falls. So statement says that the property of light by virtue of which a light ray traveling from one medium to another when a light ray travels from one medium to another medium when light ray does not travel to the second medium it is sent back to the same medium from which it is kept that means light ray falls on the mirror surface or reflecting surface then this light ray at the point of incident reflect back to the same medium that is from which that medium is the ray is false then this ray is called reflected ray and this property is called reflection the reflection says that the property of light by virtue of which a light ray traveling from one medium to another is sent back to the center that means that ray falls on the mirror then it is sent back to the same medium from which it is generated that means let's say O is your light ray that is falls on mirror surface that at the point of incident this ray is reflected back this property is called reflection here the light ray which is kept on the mirror this is incident ray and that ray which is reflected back this is reflected ray that means O A is your incident ray O B is our reflected ray reflected ray some new terms will be added OP let's say OP this is the OP the line which is perpendicular this is 90 degree this line is making 90 degree angle with mirror that means OP is our normal the line which makes angle 90 degree with mirror this is called normal then angle I this, this is incident angle what is incident angle Incident ray makes an angle with normal that is incident ray and the reflected ray makes an angle with normal. This is reflection by angle of reflection. Angle of reflection. Here I is our incident angle that is the incident ray makes an angle with normal. This is incident angle and reflected ray makes an angle with normal. This our reflection angle that means angle of reflection so new terms incident ray reflected ray the normal incident angle and angle of reflection incident ray is that ray which falls on the mirror surface and reflected ray is that ray which is sent back from the mirror surface then normal normal is a line which makes an angle 90 degree with mirror then incident angle is our angle which makes incident ray makes an angle with normal that is incident angle then angle of reflection R reflected ray makes an angle with normal that is our angle of reflection we will start with laws of reflection that means reflection which laws obeys first law is incident ray Reflected ray. Here, this is our incident ray O A. Let's say O A is our incident ray and O B our reflected ray. First law says that the incident ray and the reflected ray and normal. These three rays, incident ray and reflected ray and normal, all lie in one plane. So incident ray, reflected ray, and normal at the point of incident. Point of incident where the light ray, incident ray, where falls, that is our incident at the point 
of incident. So incident ray, intended ray, and normal. These three things at the point of incident all lie in one plane, and that plane is perpendicular to the reflecting surface. Reflecting surface. What is our reflecting surface? Mirror is our reflecting surface. Mirror means the ray, light ray, where light ray falls. That is our reflecting surface. Why? The light ray falls and reflected back. This is that's why mirror is our reflecting surface. Okay? First of all, say that incident ray, reflected ray, and normal. At the point of incident, all lie in one plane, and that plane is perpendicular to the reflecting surface. Here is a mirror is our reflecting surface, and these three things are perpendicular. Second, now say that angle of incidence, angle of incidence. Is equal with angle of reflection. Second law says that angle of incident is equal with angle of reflection. Angle of incident. What is the angle of incident? Incident ray makes an angle with the normal. That is our angle of incident. And reflected ray makes an angle with normal. That is our angle of reflection. Second law says that. These two angles, I and R, incident angle and reflection angle, will be equal. I equals to R. Let's say if I equals to 60 degree, then R will be 60. If this is 40 degree, then this will be 40 degree. These these two laws are laws 